Hello, everybody. I am hopping on for an extra Instagram Live this week because what I have been doing lately is doing uh, joint Instagram Live coaching sessions with personal stylists, which has been really fun and awesome, and I've been digging it, and I'm not going to stop doing it. Hey, Katie. Um, but what I've also discovered is that you can't download and save Instagram Live videos. So my plan was to use those Instagram lives as these like weekly podcast recordings, but that's not working out so well for me. So um, I wanted to just kind of recap a little bit of that um, joint Instagram coaching session that we did yesterday and then answer any rapid fire questions. So if you're watching right now and you do have a question, put it in the comment box and I will answer it. Um, but I went live yesterday with Liana from Be Brilliant Styling. She is a personal stylist organizer out of New York. And she um, has actually been transitioning a little bit in her business from being kind of like a full-time organizer to more of a stylist. So there is a difference, right? Like if you are styling and you're helping someone organize, you're going to be giving them very much style advice. Um, if you are just straight up organizing, you are helping them maximize the use of their space and you're not necessarily taking into account how their style plays into it or, you know, colors or what they feel good and comfortable in. You're just really helping them on a, I'm not going to say surface level at all because that's not the case, but you are helping them, um, from an organizational standpoint and not necessarily a personal style standpoint. So there are some things that an organizer might get rid of that a stylist would say, oh, that has potential, or I can show you how to wear it. I can show you how to make it work. So one of her main questions was how to kind of balance her time in this. So in the Founders Club, which is an online monthly membership business development program for personal stylists, we talk a lot about CEO days, and that is setting aside one day a week to work on your business and not always in the business. And she has accomplished that, which is great and fantastic. But one of the things that she is running into is that she still is finding some weird overlap in how she's able to work with clients. So the major, major thing that I suggest to her that would make a really big difference in how she's managing her business is to start time blocking her tasks and creating a schedule and sticking to it. So this is the number one pushback that I will get from personal stylists when I say, set a schedule, set set days that you work with your clients and don't deviate from that. Make your clients fit into your schedule because that's how it would be anywhere else. So think about if you go to make a doctor's appointment or you go to make a hair appointment. Yes, you can kind of broadly say, hey, I'd like to come in this week or I'd like to come in on Mondays, but either maybe your stylist doesn't work. My stylist doesn't work on Mondays, so I'm never going to get a Monday appointment with her. Um, and I generally have to fit into her calendar of when she's available. It's the same thing with you. If you are a personal stylist, you have all the rights and prerogative to set your schedule and to let your clients know when you're available and when you see clients and when you can do that work with them. Um, so Katie on Instagram says, so true, makes your service feel exclusive too. Exactly. If you have 100% availability to your clients, they're going to think, well, you're not very busy. Maybe you're not very good. So there's also nothing wrong to be said with making your clients wait. So that was another one of Liana's things. She was like, I don't want to make my clients wait. I want them to... Um, get in right away. And there's nothing wrong with that. If your client has to wait a week or two or three to get in and work with you, that's going to make them even more excited if they're the right fit to work with you because they're going to have that anticipation of building. And it shows that you have value. You're not just open willy nilly and that you're booked, you're busy, you're working. So if they want to get in with you, they need to book now so that they can then get that appointment. So it's not a bad thing to make your clients wait on you. It is a good thing to establish a schedule and have them fit within your schedule. And then it's a really fantastic idea to time block the work that you are doing with your clients. And so when I say time block, essentially what I'm saying is that you are trying to put similar appointments, similar things within the same day or the same time frame. So Think about if you are going to go to see a client in the morning and then you have to come home and do your admin books in the afternoon and then you have to go do whatever, a networking thing. That's a lot of context switching, which means your brain is going back and forth between three very different activities and it is harder to get in and out of those states and get yourself focused and concentrated. 
Now imagine a scenario that if you went and you had a client appointment and you were going to the house and you were making outfits, and then you were going to the a next client appointment and you were gonna clean out their closet and then you had to go and shop with a client. Those are still different activities, but they're all within that realm, that umbrella of client work. So you don't have to get out of thinking about your clients and body type and shopping and pieces and clothes and all of that stuff. You are just switching clients, switching the type of tasks. Another really awesome way to time block this is to chunk all of your client work in an afternoon or a day. So this is what I would used to do is um, if I had two clients where I needed to do like a style plan or I was doing shopping for them, I would block off two hours for the style plan in the morning, three hours in the afternoon for the shopping so that I was maybe at my desk and I didn't have to run around, go to a client and then do shopping um, and have to kind of context switch in that way. So obviously life happens and you can't always have something like this set in stone, but if you are able to put in these parameters and their boundaries around your work and when you see clients and when you're working with them, you're going to start to see a lot more flow. You're going to have a lot better processes in your business and you're actually going to be able to turn things around a lot quicker and therefore work with more clients, therefore make more money. Um, oh, dang it. Sorry. I got a call. And so, um, my phone cut out. Um, but yeah, so those are three major tips that I just wanted to bring back and reiterate and hit home. Sorry, that person just called again. Um, so I just wanted to reiterate that and bring those tips back home for you guys. Um, two things, if you want to do a joint live Instagram uh, coaching session with me, send me a DM. I will get you on the schedule. Um, if you have a business question that you would like me to answer on an Instagram live podcast, and that to me in a DM and I will add it to my list of things to talk about. Um, so I should be doing two different um, Instagram live series situations for you. And two weeks from now, starting August 19th, I'm going to be doing a free five day business training series. So it's called the badass biz training and it's going to take place Monday through Friday at noon Eastern standard time. I think that's what I'm doing it. And we are going to hone in on things like your niche, your ideal client. We're going to talk about branding and marketing photo shoots. Um, and I have another topic. Oh, like how to be the CEO in your business and have an amazing like productivity and talk about all of this stuff and how to actually implement and integrate it. So that is a free series. You can, um, click on the link in my bio and sign up for that. You'll get a, be going, sent to like a nice little pretty page that my virtual assistant made and get a welcome email from me. Um, and it is completely free. So it's geared for personal stylists, obviously, but if you are a small business owner, there's definitely going to be nuggets in there for you as well. Um, and yeah, that is what I have coming up for you. So hopefully this brief little situation helped you out and I will see you guys next week. Bye.